What's up guys? Welcome to Mile High Misfits and in today's episode I'm going to show you guys how I never miss a tire rotation, oil change, or any other maintenance on my vehicles using Microsoft Excel. All I ask in return is that you hit that subscribe button and share this with a friend that might find this helpful. But without further ado, let's get into it. So as I mentioned before, all you're going to need for this is Microsoft Excel, but if you don't have that, you can use Microsoft Word as well. And some people prefer to have a physical logbook that they write all their information in, and that's fine as well. The only issue that you have using Microsoft Word or a physical logbook is that you lose the ability to filter through all of your maintenance like you can do on Microsoft Excel. The biggest reason why I like using Microsoft Excel as compared to a physical logbook is because I can filter through by date and I can see exactly what services I need to perform this month. And this is incredibly helpful when you have multiple vehicles to maintain so you never miss a service. So now let's jump onto the computer and I'll show you guys exactly how I set up my worksheet. So here's my vehicle maintenance list. As you guys can see, I have the vehicle make, model, and year at the top here. And in each section, I have these headers. You can have different sections if you want, but this is the information that I went with for mine. I have the number, service, date, cost, supplier and part number. I have the next service, notes, installer, warranty, and the mileage. I think these are the main data points I need that will cover the full scope of the service, all while keeping it relatively simple. So now let me show you how I set this up. And if you're not super familiar with Excel, don't worry, I'm gonna go by step by step so you can follow along. So the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do is you're going to want to open up a new worksheet and title it. So now up here, you're going to have your columns and your rows. So you're going to want to select A1 all the way through J1. And you're going to want to click merge and center up here and up here is where you're going to put all of your vehicle information. So now that you have that, now you're going to want to make your headers. So in this first one, I'm going to put the number. Then I'm going to put the service. Next is the completion date. Then is the cost of the service. Then you want to put in your supplier plus part number. And for those of you who aren't familiar, you can auto adjust your column width up here by double clicking on the line and that will make your column big enough for your title. Next, you want to put in your next service date. Then you can put in notes. the installer, and then your warranty information, and mileage. So now that you have your headers, you'll want to format this all as a table so you can filter through your information. So to do that, you're going to select the table area that you want. So you'll go from A2 all the way down to maybe J20. And then you're going to go at the top here where it says format as table. You'll click whichever color or design that you want. I'll just go with the first one and then make sure that you select my table has headers and then press okay. And that will give you this look right here. And as you can see, if you click this arrow, you can filter through your results. So now let's create our first entry. I'm going to use my Corvette as an example. So you're gonna to wanna to add numbers for all of your number sections you can basically just highlight down here and this will automatically fill all of your numbers. So up here, you're going to want to put your vehicle information. So I'm gonna put 1999 Chevrolet Corvette. And then we're going to say that I did an oil change. So we'll put oil change into that there. Today is the 17th of April. So we'll say 417 2024. And next you're going to want to add your cost. So we'll just say that it costs $75. So if you click on the box with the 75 in it, that's not currently showing as a dollar amount. So if you go up here to the accounting number format and click that, that will put your 75 into a dollar format. So next we're going to put our supplier plus part number. So for oil changes, usually I just put where I got it. And then I'll put in the oil type so I'll just say 5W30 full synthetic. Obviously, if you have an actual part number, you'll put that there, but for the oil, I'm not as worried about it. So then next service date, I'll just say five months from now. So we'll just call that 
9, 17, 2024. And what I like to do is for the next service date, I like to put that into long date format. So if you click on the box here and go up to here, to this drop down menu, I like to go to long date. And if you double click here, that'll show you your Tuesday, September 17th, 2024. I like to have the actual day put on there, just that way I know exactly when I'm going to be changing the oil or doing the next service. So in the notes section, I like to add any information that I think is important that hasn't already been included in my data. So here I'll add that for the oil change, I used five quarts of oil. Now again, this is an imaginary oil change, so this isn't actually real data, but you guys get the point. And then obviously for installer, I'll just say myself, so Gabe M, warranty. There's no warranty on my oil change that I did myself, so we'll just put none there. And then for mileage, you're gonna record whatever mileage your car is at when the service was completed. So we'll just say 95,000 miles. And that's all you have to do to add a line of data for this worksheet. So over time, this will begin to fill up with entries, so it's gonna be super helpful to filter your data in this sheet. I found that filtering by date is the most useful. You can select which month you wanna go into, or you can even go down to the day. So I'm gonna go over to the Cadillac Fleetwood, for example. So I'm gonna come up here to the next service arrow. I'm going to deselect everything. And then I am going to open up the 2029 category. And then I'll click on July to see what services I have to do in July. And so right here, it tells me exactly what I'm gonna to have to do in July of 2029. I usually like to look up all the services by month so I know exactly what services I need to do this month. If you make it a habit to check which services need to be completed at the beginning of every month, then you'll never have a missed service again if you record all of your data accurately. This has helped me a lot to remember all the services for my 240SX, my Corvette, my Ram 1500, the Tahoe, and even the limo. This list is super helpful when you have more than one car because it's easy to miss these kinds of things. Especially with how crazy and busy all of our everyday lives are, it's super nice to have one less thing to worry about remembering. So leave it to Excel to remember this kind of stuff for you. So this is the list that I have for my Ram 1500. I have a few more notes on this one than I do on my other ones. So I'm gonna go down here to the bottom where I can zoom out. I'm gonna click that and that'll show me all of my data. So I might also add a section where I can add links to the receipts and save all my receipts on my computer's drive. I think that might be very helpful, especially when I need to use my warranties, but because most companies keep those records digitally, it's probably not necessary. You can also sort your data by date completed, so you can go from oldest to newest services to keep things in order. And if you keep your naming convention repetitive across your entire worksheet, you can also filter it by service type. So if you go over here, you can see brakes, exhaust, ignition coils, all that good stuff. So I'm gonna go up to the top and I'm gonna deselect all of them. And then I'm gonna come down and see every time that I've had to do the CV axle. Obviously it's only one time, but you guys get the picture. These are just some of the many ways that this type of Excel sheet can help you track your vehicle maintenance. And there are many other possibilities that I haven't even explored yet. Again, this is a very simple worksheet for beginners that I wanted to make as simple as possible. So don't roast me in the comments for not utilizing all of the tools that Excel has to offer. But even with its simplicity, I know that this worksheet can help you guys out a lot because it sure has for me. If you found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for future content. And if there's any entries that you think would be beneficial to add to this list, let me know in the comments below. But thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys next week. Later.